What up, YouTube? I'm Alexander, and today we're gonna be going over last night's MTV VMA award. Is this awkward when every time I talk, the camera switches between me not wearing a hoodie and me wearing a hoodie? Awkward! The opening act was by Rihanna. She did cockiness to start off, and then ASAP Rocky came out and did his verse in the cockiness remix. I don't know if anybody else noticed, but ASAP Rocky came out, did his verse, and then he gave Rihanna a hug and then he said, hey, I'm gonna grab your ass and then I'm gonna give you a little peck. But ASAP Rocky doing that did stir up a little bit of buzz just to start off the show and he put on a good performance, so did Rihanna. And Calvin Harris was a house DJ, so throughout the night you heard Calvin Harris and then to top it off for the We Found Love, which Rihanna followed up cockiness with, came in with Calvin Harris and then it was a balloon party and it was a great start to the show. Kevin Hart was an amazing host. He had a great monologue. He talked about Chris Brown and Drake's beef. And then he went on to talk about Kristen Stewart and just a bunch of different stuff. He was really funny. He was really good. I really hope that he continues to host the upcoming VMAs. He was really, really good. And might I just throw out there, what the hell was Lil Wayne doing? I mean, wearing headphones is one thing, but actually going up on stage with your headphones on when Drake's accepting an award that you were behalf of, I mean, that's kind of BS. It was just very childish and very disrespectful, and I don't know if he wanted a lot of attention because he did catch a lot of attention, but obviously for the wrong reasons. But somebody who caught attention for good reasons is Frank Ocean. Oh my god, I love Frank Ocean so much! He, without a doubt, had the best performance of the night. He came on stage, he serenaded our earlobes, he molested our brain. He did an acoustic version of Thinking About You, and his voice was top-notch, the performance was top-notch. It was just... It was really eerie and it was really, really good. It, I felt a real good connection with it and overall it was the best performance of the night. Now we're gonna move on to the awards and one thing that pissed me off is that they didn't show best rock video. The main category that the VMAs were pretty much built on were pop and rock and you're not even gonna show in case you didn't know, which you probably don't know because it wasn't shown, is the best rock video was Coldplay's Paradise, which I am happy for, but Jack White got snubbed, Black Keys got snubbed, but still, I'm a big Coldplay fan, I'm happy that they won, but I'm just really, really pissed off that they didn't even put it on television. They probably didn't even invite them there, so that's very, very disrespectful to that awesome category. And then I can just lead into a big subject about how MTV only cares about music one night out of the whole year now just because of the MTV Video Music Awards, but all the other nights, they want to show babies having babies on 16 and pregnant and then Jersey Shore freaking is finally done but they're gonna replace it with probably Koreans doing the Gangnam style shit. Oh not Gangnam style! Oh 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 Oh, no, Gundam Star! But yeah, if MTV wants to keep going the route it has been, it should just change its name because it has nothing to do with music anymore, and it's very, very disappointing. Because when I was younger, I loved watching MTV. TRL was something that I grew up on, and not seeing any type of music format on MTV anymore is just very, very disappointing, and it's just very, very sad to see that music isn't appreciated on television anymore like it used to be. But going back to the awards for Best Pop Video, One Direction won with You Don't Know That You're Beautiful, and might I say, I was very, very jealous because when they went up to accept their award, Katy Perry gave them all an individual kiss. So that got me very, very jealous, but congratulations to them. And then for best hip hop video, Drake featuring Lil Wayne won with HYFR. Drake was really respectful up there. He thanked his fans, he thanked Toronto, he thanked everybody that had everything to do with it, but Lil Wayne didn't do anything. He just stood there with his headphones on, probably listening to Dedication 4 and how he could have done better with it. Okay, Wayne, good for you. If you want to be disrespectful, just leave and go skateboard somewhere because obviously, you don't give a shit. And then for Best New Artist, Wiz Khalifa and Kesha came out to present the award, which Kesha actually dressed like a normal person for once. She announced that Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose are having un bebe. Congratulations to Wiz E. Amber. I was very surprised that Kesha was actually dressed like a normal human being. But the award went to One Direction, which they did deserve, but still, I think Frank Ocean should have won it. Either way, congratulations to One Direction on your two awards. For Best Female Video, Nicki Minaj won with Starships. And one thing that caught my eye when she walked up to go accept her award, she walked straight past Katy Perry and Rihanna, who were also nominated in it, and did not even give a glance at them. Kind of disrespectful, but at the same time, it's like, hey, both of you, look at my big ass as I walk by and get my award. So it's like, hey, screw you, but at the same time, it's like, hey, hey, screw you. That didn't make sense, did it? No, no, it didn't. But for best male video, Chris Brown with Turn Up The Music. What the hell was going on with Chris Brown's hair? It looked like Drake threw a bottle of shaving gel in and exploded in his hair. I don't know what the blue tips were. I don't know if he thinks that's cool, but 
I mean, he won the award, so good for him. And then last but not least, the video of the year went to Rihanna for We Found Love. What I don't understand is how she won video of the year, but she didn't win female video of the year. It's kind of a messed up system that MTV has there, kind of like the NBA draft. Am I right or am I right? I don't know if a lot of you caught this, but at the end, Taylor Swift did a performance of We Will Never Get Back Together, which was really cool. But what I thought was hilarious about the performance was when they cut to Taylor Lautner during the song, which pretty much everybody's assuming that's what the song is about, is about her and Taylor Lautner's relationship. And I just thought that was really hilarious that they just did a screenshot to him and then just right back to T-Swift. She put on a great performance. Everybody put on a great performance except for Green Day. I don't know what they were doing. I mean, I like Green Day, but nowadays they're just old and they just need to stop. And then 2 Chains and Lil Wayne, they were okay. They were there. But overall, it was good VMAs. It was a fun time. It was funny. Let me know what you thought about the VMAs, about the winners, the losers, the performances, what you think about them. Leave them down in the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then like this video. Because if you don't like this video, I'm going to eat my cereal with a fork.